what is up everybody it is the saints hub back with another video and today i'm going to be talking about the insane story about Taysom hill and him growing up and his journey a very unique journey to the nfl and uh yeah but before this video starts this took a lot of effort i mean i had to research almost everything about Taysom, get it right and um it would mean a lot if you guys could like, share, subscribe, but without further ado. So, Taysom was p born in the small town of Pocatello, Idaho. Hope I'm saying that right. But this was this was a town that really loved football and uh, craved it. Taysom's sister is quoted saying, Friday night is football night. Everybody goes and supports the team. So... He went to Highland High School, I believe it's called. I know they're the Highland Rams, but um, in his freshman year, they had a um, senior at quarterback. So Taysom was playing quarterback, but he was a freshman. So Taysom took over wide receiver. <clears throat> Excuse me. Taysom actually flourished in this role, and the next year he got to play quarterback. Uh, played quarterback for two years, and as a senior, he threw for 2,269 yards and 18 touchdowns and rushed for a whopping 1,491 yards. This earned him All-Idaho Player of the Year and Gatorade High School Player of the Year, First Team All-State Selection, and All-Regional and All-Conference Player of the Year accolades. Wow. So that's a lot. But, um... Coming out, so he had a lot of offers, actually. Uh, University of Arizona, Boise State, Oregon State, Washington State, University of Utah, Stanford, and Birmingham Young University. He originally committed to Stanford. Well, not a lot of people know this, but he originally committed to Stanford because he loved John Harbaugh, and John Harbaugh loved him. But he decommitted after coming back from some this. I, I, don't, I don't know what this is because I don't know religion like that that's called an lds church mission don't know what that is but <laughs> yeah but for his freshman year Taysom was the backup qb and he only played six games start and starting starting uh, excuse me starting and winning two starts mid-season before suffering his first season ending knee injury then, his sophomore year in 2014, Taysom Hill sustained a fractured leg against Utah State. So, two years, two leg slash knee injuries. I don't know if they were on the same leg at all or all, but you got to think, you're at two, two injuries, right? Two years. The, the physical pain it's taking on your body, the mental pain. I, I, I broke my wrist before, so... I know what it's like to be sidelined from action and seeing all your teammates. It's why Andrew Luck retired. He was scared for his life. But he's got to be thinking that, right? Junior year. Cubs. This is the, one of the big years. You know, you can go to the draft this year. But in 2015, he had, excuse me if I'm going to get this wrong, but he had a Liz Frank fracture in the season opener. So he gets back. He's all ready to play again. Season opener. <clears throat> I don't know what a Liz Frank factor is, I'm going to be honest, but it sounds pretty awful. So, I'm sorry. That was his, I believe, senior year. I'm fucking stupid. Um, so, this gave him a red shirt medical year. So, he's been through. I think junior year is the one year he didn't have an injury. He's had four. I said three. I, I must have missed one. I'm sorry. Um, actually, no, I didn't. I didn't. We'll get to that. Uh, junior year was the one year he didn't have an injury, but some happened leading up to senior year. Taysom lost one of his best friends and his family, his brother, uh, Dexter Hill. Dexter Hill was also a quarterback, taught Taysom a lot, and this hit Taysom really hard. Uh, Dexter died from, uh, an opioid addiction that he sustained, you know, when you play football. Doctors hand that shit out like it's candy. He got addicted. Yep. Um, so then it got to his fifth year. And once again, 
<laughs> he got injured. He hyperextended his elbow in the fourth quarter. My goodness, you guys have to understand the mental pain and physical pain through four season-ending injuries. You're sidelined for months, a hyperextended elbow. Just imagine being in school like that. It's just, it's crazy, but and most people would have quit. Andrew Luck quit. Luke Keekley quit after a while. I mean, it took them years, but like, and maybe it'll take Tyson, but it didn't stop him. And that's crazy because most people would just be stopping after like two. People stop playing football because of concussions. He's hyperextending elbows. He's tearing Liz Franks, whatever the hell that is. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. But uh, Taysom didn't really do mu that much in college, unfortunately. Just derailed from injuries. So he went undrafted in the 2017 draft and was signed... Well, what got him signed basically by the Packers, by the Green Bay Packers, not everyone knows this, but he had a 4.44 40-yard dash. And that, if you don't know, is very good for a quarterback. But this got him signed by the Packers, and he completed 14 of 20 passes in preseason, but that wasn't enough for them. So they cut him, and Sean Payton was like, holy shit, I love this kid. The next day, the Saints claimed him off waivers, and that's how we got him. I know I sped through this kind of quickly, so I'm going to backtrack. Uh, Taysom Hill. I mean, uh, wow, that's a lot to go through. Um, he lost his brother and a season-ending injury all in one year. I mean... That's just terrible. <laughs> um, I mean, the physical pain that that man has gone through in just four years is... is wow. Um, it's crazy. And, I mean, the mental pain, too, and then along with his brother. I mean, the I watched some interviews with his family. I mean, they, he was, they were all very close. Uh, the whole town was. If you look it up, you can find articles about Dexter. Um, but, oh, I forgot to mention. But the reason Taysom wears number seven, I forgot to mention this. The reason Taysom wears number seven was that was Dexter's number. So he uses that number to honor his brother. And it's quote, he's quoted saying, like, every time he still gets chills when he sees a number seven and Hill on the back because... Thanks of his brother. And that's it's heartwarming that he can carry on his brother's leg legacy. I know I went kind of quick, guys, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> but um, if you guys have any thoughts on Taysom's journey, it's very unique. I mean, not many people get injured four times. <laughs> um, let me know down in the comments. If you guys have any video days, let me know down in the comments. If you want to like this, like the video, please. That helps me out a lot. Share this with your friends. Subscribe and peace.